Hey everybody, oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another plan with me uh, because we're in Christmas. Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go long on the intros. We're gonna just jump right in before I do. I'm gonna remember. Da -da -da -da. Let me show you how this last week has turned out. Dun -dun. See, I remembered. I may not remember every week, but I remembered. <laughs> So this is how Christmas party has turned out for this week. I am loving it. It is amazing and perfection. I use the new Frosty Matte Clear um, scripts this week. Oh, I'm in love. I am in love with those. I am definitely going to spend some time when the shop closes down for Christmas vacation to get all of my scripts going like hardcore so yeah um but because i haven't been showing the spreads we're gonna go back a few spreads as well and this is what the last part of november and the first part of december looked like i am obsessed with this kit it is gorgeous i think this is going to be one that stays in the shop until very much through next year because i want to use it again I color blocked, which I think was great. So I want to use it again where I'm not color blocking because it's absolutely gorgeous. This color and this green and this yellowy green and like, oh, I'm just, oh, I love it so much. Okay. And then let's go back to our finally updated planners and we can look at the week of Thanksgiving. This one is also going to stay up in the shop for quite some time. And yeah, I am obsessed and after seeing how these scripts look i'm loving it so much more so yeah i'm definitely going to be getting all of my scripts updated because i want to use the frosty matte clear paper so let's go ahead and just get diving into it i'm going to use the kit christmas morning i know it says christmas morning but i want to go back and i want to use the like christmas eve kit i can't remember what it's titled I've had it up in the shop for two years now. Um, let's see, this will be the third year because last year we released, so this year we released Christmas party, last year we released Santa's workshop and the year before we released Christmas night, I think is what it's called. Um, and Santa's legs are dangling from the, uh, from the fireplace, goodness. I want to use that one again. So that is, that is my plan. Okay. I'm loving this going on. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna get right into it. I can't believe after this, we will have just two more spreads to do. And then we will officially be in the new year. I cannot believe that that is happening. So we're gonna get this done. Luckily, I already have a few spreads laid down in my 2023 planner. So we're gonna continue going strong because I really did love being able to get ahead on things. And that's what we're going to work on. Obviously taking a week off from filming didn't do me any, any justice. Yes, I think this one needs to be our, our box up here. It's just, it's just calling to me. Um, so yeah, oh, which reminds me, my kids forgot to open their advent calendar um, day yesterday. So I guess they're gonna each get to open up one. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm just, okay. So here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. What do we use? Do we use the glitter headers or do we use the patterns. Ooh, I'm kind of struggling with that one because this this has the dark blue in it and this one has the light blue and I'm really really being drawn to the light blue like heavily so. Okay before before we do that let's go ahead and put the date dots. Let's let's sit on it for a minute. So um, if you watch Saturday's video you'll know that I ran out of these date dots so we're all replenished a little bit. Um, so I'm good to go there. And what are we planning for? We're planning for, oh, dang it, I did it again. Son of a gun. Uh, 
Okay, guys, you know what we're gonna do? I did it. I did not mean to do this. I skipped a week and I can't skip a week in this. Oh, this sometimes drives me nuts when I do this. Okay, we're gonna actually, this is gonna end up being our Christmas morning kit. End of story. I'm going to go ahead and make this the 19th through the 25th. That's what we're gonna plan. And then later in this week, so possibly, I have to look at everything. Yes, tomorrow I'll upload the correct week that it's supposed to be going on. Oh, I didn't want to do, you're going to have a lot of videos this week, okay, you guys? Oh, dang it. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. It's, okay, so the 12th, so we're going to do this the 19th. All right, well, I guess we just wanted to use some of our, our new date dots because I think it was the 19th on Saturday's video that I was missing. Um and stuff so you know we got this we got this covered we'll figure it out my mistake yeah it is what it is um luckily at the end of the day this is still a christmas morning kit so it's not that um it's not that big of a deal we just you just get an extra video this week so yeah, there will be a lot of videos this week. So you have this video that's here up on Monday. Then I'll upload tomorrow the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the one that I was supposed to be working on. And which then honestly kind of gets me further ahead, which I'm actually kind of, kind of, kind of happy about, but you know, mistakes. We look for the silver linings and the mistakes that happen. All right. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are our regular scheduled programming. And then Saturday will be the um, mystery kit reveal. So I'm super excited for that because you only have a couple of days to get the mystery kit. So uh, just as a friendly reminder, um, December 19th, so this, you know, Monday that I'm planning for, uh, we will be closing down the shop, um, sometime during that day, haven't decided when yet, it'll probably be more like in the evening time, so that people can get their last, you know, orders in that they want to, and, uh, we will close down for the holiday season and reopen January 2nd. So I'm, I'm excited to have some time, some time off, some time to just kind of re-energize, reinvigorate and get ready for 2023 because we have a lot of things going on and planned for 2023. So yeah. Alrighty. Well, you know, I'm really glad that this is working, that this is working out. Like I said, it's a, it's a, uh, Christmas morning kit. So it works, works rather well, but boy, but see, even if you, even if mistakes are, are made, they can work out to your advantage. I mean, I'm just going to say that this is where, because I think it was a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about it, I couldn't decide which kit I wanted to do on Christmas morning, whether it was going to be this one or it was going to be the Santa one. So it's already subconsciously my mind was was thinking things. But I, it's been a super busy morning and getting things um, prepped and ready to go, not only for filming, but for this upcoming week. So this, and this is not my first time that I've done this where I've flipped too many pages and put the kit there and then start planning it and realize I skipped a full week. And normally that's not a big deal, but when you literally have three weeks left to plan and all you have left in your planner is three weeks, uh, it becomes a very big deal, a very big deal. Clearly we saw that we wanted to use the, um, Glitter headers. God, words are failing me today. My apologies. Which means I think I'm going to go ahead and bring it, bring in the patterned half boxes. Not entirely sure just yet. Um, so we'll figure, we'll figure this out. So I have, this is going to be a pretty low key 
week when it comes to Christmas. Um, so I'm not too, I'm not too worried, but do we color block or do we not color block? That be the question. I don't know, what's the color that we're looking for? Oh, we're looking for that really dark green. Hmm. Do we use sticky notes or do we not use sticky notes? That be the question. I don't know. I don't know, let's see. Just because there's not gonna be a whole lot, a lot of stuff going on, and really, honestly, it's just gonna be a lot of mundane, boring stuff here in the office. Um, I just don't know what exactly I want to, what exactly I want to do. Um, I know that I will end up filming on Christmas Eve. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be filming on Christmas Eve because I do have to cook that day. Um, so I don't know. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can find a dark green. Does this green from December 2022 work? I think it might. I think that's a pretty darn close green and I'm gonna call it a win. So they're not quite the same, but they are pretty, oh, where's the checklist? They are pretty darn close. So I'm gonna call it a win. We're gonna go ahead and do our color blocking. But when was the last time I, let's see, did a non-staggering type thing? Yeah, it's been a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It has been a minute since we've done a non-stagger. Okay. All right, then I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to color block and we are going to, um, I gotta get this one off my finger. I'm gonna color block and we are going to do this, all the sticky notes up top first. So I just have really been in a mode of color blocking and stuff, so, okay. So my Black Friday orders are starting to trickle in. Um, currently, the post office has a few of my packages um, being held. Oh, excuse me, being held hostage. I had a little hiccup there, um, and I'm hoping that doesn't cause any issues. They're literally an hour and a half away from me, and they've been there for like the past four or five days. So I'm really hoping we don't have any issues. I really want my Black Friday orders. Um, I had told myself this year that I wasn't gonna do a lot for Black Friday. And I kind of failed on that. I did less than I did last year, that's for sure. But I still, you know, I still spent. So, and you guys, I have a daily planner coming to me. I, I'm not normally a daily planner, but I've been wanting to experiment with some things and some ideas. Um, and in order to experiment with those, I gotta make sure that I'm not thinking too hard about certain things and whatnot. But so I have a, I have a daily planner coming um, and I'm really kind of excited to to see how that how that works out. I'm not getting I'm not getting rid of my everyday pen and ink planner, but I am gonna see if maybe some of these things will help me because uh, I really do need to start. As much as I don't like to do time blocking, um, I'm more of a task oriented person, meaning working one task at a time until it's completed. I am starting to realize that some things need to be. Um, time blocked. So the unfortunate part with that is my current planner that I use for my, you know, everyday setup um, doesn't have the ability for time blocking because it's more in sections of certain things. So 
I think I kind of need the best of both worlds. I kind of need to be able to lay everything out and then within those I need to be able to prioritize and list the stuff that I need to for um, like hours in the day. So yeah, there's just things, uh, things are a changer for 2023 and obviously with moving in a direction where Steve is helping more I've got to be more on top of my game so I, that it isn't like last minute rushes for him or anything like that so I'm loving how this is turning out it's been a long time since we've I say a long time but really honestly if it's been like three or four weeks since we've done like a layout like this that that's a long time that's a long time so <laughs> may not be in like the whole grand scheme of things but and this kind of this kind of layout just takes so much pressure off of having to honestly really think about what's being being done so but then that gives me all this room to play with functional boxes so that's that's the plan um so yeah i have a i have a daily planner on the way it's only a six month daily planner, so it's not like I have to make a full year commitment, which <laughs> I love that one. That makes me happy because anything new always, you know, I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I like my things. And so new things sometimes makes it hard, but you know, we're growing. We're gonna grow in 2023. So yeah, so I have that coming. And then obviously lots of more stickers and items and I really want to commit and follow through on doing my monthly spreads and my monthly remixes especially in my kids' memory keeping planner for sure so I have I have like goals that I need to set down um, but I definitely need to start marking off some specific time to be able to achieve those goals but yeah so all right so this last weekend um, we, okay, so let's see, Friday night, the kids went camping, oh, I'll tell you some stories on Friday's video, it, oh, goodness, these, I love these kids, I love these kids, they're just, they make me laugh so much, but yes, so Friday evening, the kids, the boys and my husband went on um, a camping trip with a couple of people from the uh, from our church and so I've got stories to tell for that but that meant my daughter and I were home and had to fend for ourselves so we're currently still a one-car family um, we have not um, gone car shopping at all for anything we one we haven't had any time so we ha haven't gone car shopping for anything and um, um, we uh, so our one car family so we Audrey and I were left to our own devices that night and I ended up cooking steak and sometimes I end up and it only happens with certain cuts of steak, but they end up turning my stomach like really, really, really bad. It's almost like my digestive system can't handle it. Now, mind you, I don't have a gallbladder. I had my gallbladder removed when I was 17, so that could be one of the issues. It, why? And so I just did not feel well all of Friday evening and into Saturday morning, and I was just looking forward to kind of vegging and and stuff and okay kind of vegging and just keeping to myself for the the day and my daughter was invited to um, make cookies with one of the ladies at the church. In fact, it was an open invitation to a, a lot of the um, kids in the ward. And my daughter, my husband took my daughter and then my youngest son to it. And luckily they did because they were the only ones who showed up, which is really kind of sad when you think about it. 
Like this was an opportunity to make cookies because they're gonna go out caroling on Wednesday and deliver these cookies to, to um, places. But anyways, my husband texts me, he goes, if you can start feeling better, um, we kind of need your help over here. I was like, oh my goodness. If I can start feeling better, if, if I could will myself to doing that, I so would. It would be so awesome to just will myself to just feel better. Now, granted, I did somewhat sleep through the through the, that Friday night. So it wasn't, I wasn't like dead tired, but I just definitely did not feel 100%. You know, um, I had no fever, I had no cough, I had no headaches. It was, I know exactly what did it to me. Um, and really, honestly, I just needed to rest that entire day. And that was going to be really the only way to just overcome it and surpass it. But anyways, I got up, I got moving, and I did start to feel better after I got up and got moving. And we went to, I told him, I said, okay, come pick me up. And when I got there and I assessed the situation, I was like, thank you, dear Lord, for allowing me to feel better because they definitely need some help here. So, um, growing up, my mother made sugar cookies every single year. And we're talking dozens of sugar cookies every single year. And I hated it. I hated it. But having to be a part of the process, I learned a few things. And those things came in very clutch yesterday. Um, I'm not a baker. I don't like to bake. It's not something I find joy in. Um, I know many people do. I just don't find joy in baking. I find joy in cooking, um, you know, to each their own and stuff. So I, my husband has never seen me in this mode before. Uh, let's just say that Mr. Havilon and ninth was like, who are you? And I was like, um, I'm your wife. You need to date me more. <laughs> so he's like, your secrets out of the bag. And I was like, dang it. Dang it. So yeah, I have a secret out of the bag, but, um, and I think I will continue this story into, um, the next video just because we're coming up here on the end and there's just so much to, to this. But anyways, we, um, you know, assess the situation. Kids were kind of like already done. They had been there already for about an hour, hour and a half and they hadn't made a dent into anything. So I know that the kids were kind of like done and like, and when they saw me, they were like, yes, mom's here. Mom is here. I'm gonna save the day and we're gonna, we're gonna move forward. And my husband, when he went and picked me up, he was like, I have no idea what she's trying to do. I don't know where I can help. Um, so thank you for feeling better and coming along to to help out and stuff so yeah um it was it was a lot we ended up making six or seven dozen sugar cookies and oh what else did we make do i have room to put this here i do if i layer it over everything i think that's what i'm gonna do I'm going to layer it over these two. Um, we're going to put something else down. And we're just going to put... We're just going to put, I think... Now yeah, we'll do the being an adult. We like that one. We like that one. There we go. Okay. So I'll continue my story in the next um, video since I've got to go grab one of the kits and we've got to continue on because I did not think that I was going to be doing five videos today, but that's okay. We got this. We got this covered. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and here is what we have and stay tuned for part two to the story. And yeah, I love how it looks. I really love color blocking sometimes. It just makes my heart super, super happy. And yeah, I think that's all we got for you today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed, all that jazz. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.